Okay, so now that um, we have saved our part file as an STL file, uh, now we can 3D print it. Uh, so if you go to the place where you saved it, so see part one STL, that's the 3D print file. Um, so to actually 3D print it, what you're going to do is uh, use a website called AstroPrint. So if you go to my website and go to today, there's a link that says AstroPrint. And uh, you do have to have an account, so you do have to sign in. It's free, so you're going to click on Create Free Account, put in your email, make a password, and then when you sign in, you're going to see something that looks like this. Um, the main button we're going to use is Design Uploader. So you're going to click on that, and it's going to ask you uh, to find the file that you want to 3D print. Uh, so we're going to go to the place that we have that saved, here it is. So, you see it's rendering, and it's almost ready. So here's the file. Um, later on, uh, there'll be some more tricks that we're going to do, um, but the first time you do this, it's going to ask you to choose a printer. So you're going to go down the list and find a Flash Forge. Click on that. Uh, and then it's going to ask you what type of Flash Forge you have, which is a Creator Pro. Then it's going to ask you what material you're going to use. We're always going to use PLA. So where it says Add Material, uh, you really only have the choice of the two. So uh, PLA is what we're doing. Uh, for right now, we'll do a normal print quality. And before you hit Slice, we're going to click Advanced Slicer Settings. And we're going to go to uh, filament and we're going to change the print temp to 110 and the bed to 50 and then where it says um, slice go ahead and hit slice and once it says finished you're going to click the little cloud download button uh, it should pop up at the bottom of the page you can go show in folder and so you can see this top one right here. Um, I'll get rid of these other ones. Uh, this is the file that we want, and it's a .x3g. That's what the printer needs. Uh, so from here, all you have to do is to drag and drop this uh, into the file for the fl uh, the little SD card, the little flash drive that plugs into the printer. And <coughs> from there, you just click print on the printer. So I can I'll make another video for that part later on. Um but that's it.